Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Guys, guess what? I'm coming up on a year. I'm so excited. I said, whoa. Oh my gosh. It's approaching. It's coming. I'm going to plan something cool, like a little giveaway or something. Um, and that's how we're going to celebrate the year. Look at this channel so grateful i thank god um because he's taught me a lot through doing this i'm so excited <laughs> like i was just like oh my gosh like going through some of these videos and i was like whoa geez that time went it flew it really did but i'll talk more about that probably in next week's video Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that your word is life to our lives. And we're going to see the manifestation of your word in our lives. Every single day and every moment, God, you're present, you're here. Your word, it is alive in our lives. We apply our faith to it. And we know that because this word is truth, it is true it will come to pass in our lives. Thank you for the maturity and growth. We bind up every ungodly force that's not like you in the name of Jesus. Let this word go forth and let it be encouraging to your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I am reading from Romans 12 and verse two. This is in a different translation. Um, I've never read, it, read this one before, but I'm currently reading this beautiful daily journal it's called reasoning your thoughts on the heavenly realm and it is by vanessa colvin shout out to vanessa colvin for this journal i was so excited for her in um, the releasing process of this because i knew i needed it and i was you know how you just get your expectation like pumped up like the anointings there the blessings there and you know i'm just i'm so grateful for this i'm proud of her i love you nessa and thank you for this journal because i've been using it and it's definitely blessing me very timely it's helping me reason and focus my thoughts okay and keep it in the spiritual realm like keep walking and staying in the spirit no matter what the day may look like how difficult or how easy or you know whatever goes on in the course of your day no matter what stay in the spirit and include and ask holy ghost to lead and guide you and use things that will help you focus and keep your mind on the word of god you know um, and I've already talked about this in past past videos. It's good to meditate on this word in whatever way that you believe the Lord has shown you works best for you, whether it's through writing, whether it's through actually always pulling out your Bible and reading, but whether it's just praying, you know, constantly throughout the day, um, singing songs to Him, whether it's through going on walks and like looking at the sky and asking the Lord, what are you saying to me through this beautiful mural that you put in the sky? You know, or if it's him speaking to you, speaking to your spirit and hitting you with something that is to be of encouragement to you. And this is a good tool to help me focus my thoughts and make sure I'm staying in the word. She does have three different books on the website. One is a children's book, and it's called The Human Sunshine Emoji. Then she has Between Two Flowers. That is a daily motivational book. And then this one, Reasoning Your Thoughts on, on the Heavenly Realm, is just a journal, and it has, like, scriptures at the top. But I do want to go ahead and read this, like, front little cover part because it's really nice. It reads... 185 days of journaling with scripture to give you peace on how to control your thoughts 
and tongue. It's a lot because, you know, I do journal a lot and most of my journals do have scriptures in them as well. But um, I like this one a lot. One, because it's like a soft book and it's kind of easier to carry and like just throw in my work bag and I can, and I can date it how I choose. And it has so much writing space. Like some journals, well, at least the ones that I have, they're like little, they kind of look like little planners. They're so cute. They're really nice hard copies and stuff, but I've been needing more space and I like to date them, you know, accordingly. And sometimes I don't follow the date of which is, you know, written in the journal because they're dated by the actual dates, you know. Um, so like, and I don't like having that gap of the pages because I'm like, darn it. I wasted that page but you know I do go back and still write it but I'm like I didn't do it on that day you know I'm that type of person where it's like I have to have the right the right day fill up the right time and like stuff like that so like I'm I'm just like that but it has the scripture up at the top and then it has the date and it has all this writing space right there all that writing space I like that so I will leave the link down to it below to where you can find it and there are other books on there as well that she has published. So if you would like to, go ahead and go on her website and check it out and she has the descriptions to them and it's very easy to order them also. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for this week. Be encouraged, no matter what it looks like, be encouraged, meditate on this word and focus on God and what he's saying and what he's telling you to do and all will be well no matter what all will be well so I'll see you guys next week and we're almost out of year yeah! all right see you guys bye hey guys Ooh.